Hey y'all, it's Mandy. This is Liquorette Tarot. This is going to be Virgo's full moon reading. Full pink moon reading, okay? I'm going to see if I can get a song for y'all first to see like what the energy is about for you guys right now. And this weekend, okay? Because the full moon is tomorrow. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Katy Perry, Roar. I used to bite my tongue at home and Yes, okay. That's a good energy for y'all, okay. Shit, they're gonna hear you roar, okay. Regret what they did to you, okay. <laughs> yeah, regret what they did to you. Regret missing an opportunity with you. Or they see you as a missed opportunity, okay. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what do we got? <laughs> this card came up again, so I know it's true. Okay, the Five of Swords. They regret something they did to you. They are in regret. Okay, what else for the Virgo Spirit? For the Six of Pentacles. They might want to... Well, let's just see. 56 or 65 could be significant for you. You don't have to be. Temperance balance is coming, okay? So, the Sagittarius energy, what I'm feeling here is that balance is coming. They're regretting how they treated you, but, you know, it's up to you if you really give a damn about them regretting how they treated you or not. But what you're about to get is everything that you put out is about to come back to you. Balance is coming for you, I feel like, Virgo. They're going to hear you roar. Whoever this was who did this something to you, okay? You're going to get new love. Come, New love is coming in, okay? You you learn to love yourself, I feel like, here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You learn to love yourself. But this person is going to come back from the past, though. With the Six of Cups here, they're definitely going to come back from the past, offering you a cup of love, offering you some, you know, some other things, too, with this Page of Wands. Um... Meaning, uh, I always try to figure out how to say this, okay? They're trying to offer you some uh, some sex, <laughs> possibly, okay? Or you're going to get some good news, okay? Some good news about something that happened in the past. Whoa, definitely, okay? With this Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups here, um, some of the choices that you made in the past are starting to bear fruit. So... The seeds that you planted are starting to bear fruit because you let go of this heavy burden here. Somebody was a heavy burden. I feel like with this five of swords energy, I'm, I'm going to see who that is in a second. But this person regrets being in this knight of wands energy with you coming in, going out and only giving you this page of cups energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, they might want to come in now and give you like the full cup because they got they got love on the brain. Okay. Um. Who is this five of swords? This person could be a fire sign here, okay? Because I said, who is this five of swords? And we got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius popping up. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign for sure. Don't have to be a fire sign. There could be other reasons why they're um, showing up. Yeah. Okay, the devil Capricorn energy. They could regret something about a third party situation. Or they could regret doing some kind of spell work. Oh, what is this devil spell? What's the devil? Hmm. They regret that you put an end to it? <laughs> Damn. They're going to hear you roar, okay? Okay. You might have um, Leo... Somewhere in your chart, strong, like maybe your rising sign, your north node or something like that. Okay, I'm really feeling like you need to check out your chart here because this energy can be you. Even though you're a Virgo, maybe sun sign, this could be your energy here. Okay, because they're going to hear you roar here, okay? So they might feel bad about doing you wrong. Uh, or they're, they're, I feel like what they feel bad about is you put an end to it here with the Knight of Swords. You decided that, no, I deserve better than this. That's two tens. Well, you got the Ten of Wands, and then you got the World card, which is like another 10. So, I say Angel number 10, 10, and 7, 7 for you. What else, Spirit? That's too many. Um, Yeah. They're going to hear you war. Let's see if I can get another song for you. 
story of my life, One Direction. I never heard that. Okay, it's gonna play too long and it's gonna flag me. So, the story of my life, damn. This is what came out. I'm gonna say, then the moon came out, the eight of swords, and then the three of swords. Okay, 83 or 38 could be significant, but, uh, and you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, um, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but somebody's all up in their head about what they did to you. They're all up in their head about, uh, breaking your heart, I feel like. I'm gonna see if those same cards come out again. Spirit, what's coming for the future? That was kind of before I finished the question, but okay. Bam, this is what's coming. The Empress energy is what you're stepping into. So they're definitely going to hear you roar because judgment has been called on this situation. Whatever they did to you was messed up and you're, you're overcoming it. You know, you're overcoming it. They're going to hear you roar. They just, they're going to wish that they just didn't do it. Okay. I'm not going to be like, oh, they're going to get this and they're going to get that and the hell's going to come down on them. They just regret what they <laughs> did. The <t> damn. <laughs> damn. Okay, for somebody here, I feel like uh, there was um, a situation where there was a third-party situation and it could be that the... Um, other party was the same sex as your person so if you were dealing with a masculine then they had a, a third party that was also a masculine or if you you're the masculine and you're dealing with a feminine that had a third party she could have had a third party that was also a feminine in other words you know because uh there's several there's like three or four lovers cards in my in this deck here the star spinners tarot and what you're supposed to do is take out if you want to, you can take out, you know, the same sex ones or whatever, but I just leave them in because why not? Okay, so Gemini energy, but um, they made a choice. Maybe you made a choice to, you know, you might have made a choice to leave this person because you found out that there was some kind of down low situation going on here, I feel like. Okay, because we got a king of cups here and we got a king of wands. And somebody regrets what they did to you. Well... They should regret that, but you know what they should have done was probably been honest with themselves and not, you know, not had you in the situation where, in other words, if they were gay, just admit it. Don't be having you as. <sighs> to be honest, I had an uncle that was uh married for twenty five years, and he came out of the closet. This was years ago, and so when I see something like this, this is what I think of. He came out of the closet and he decided to, um, you know, go, go about life being his true self, which was gay. And his, and so the sad thing about it for me, like looking from the other side, cause that's what I always try to do. Like it could be that there, you know, somebody's going to hear you or the person who decided that, Hey, I am what I am. Okay. Because like for my uncle, the thing that was sad about it is that once he did make that decision, um, of course, he got divorced, and then his daughter disowned him, and she was a grown adult, so I I didn't like that. I felt like that was messed up, so um, here's another king here, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so you could be, um, you could be, definitely be a Gemini, but uh, yeah, there was a a choice was made here, I feel like, okay, the emperor. So you could be, definitely the emperor could be the one watching this energy, here, watching this reading here. Okay, so we got the emperor and we got the empress and we got the same sex lovers card. And we've got like two to three masculine energies here. Wait a minute. Hold up. Yeah. One, two, three. So, okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> If you're gay, bisexual, or whatever you are, that's you. But you can't just be having... You can't do this, though. You can't do this. You can't have her and then have them, too. You just can't do that. So if somebody did that to you, um, Empress, then... They're about to hear you roar. Okay, so let me switch decks. Virgo, 
what is coming up for Virgo this weekend? Full moon energy. What's coming up for Virgo full moon energy this weekend? You guys, this is a general message. Make sure you just remember that. This is for entertainment, okay? So if you have a, your marriage is going just fine, don't look at a tarot reading and be like, this bastard has got three men on the side. Don't do that. <laughs> If you already felt like this and you already seen signs of that, though, and you felt that in your heart already, then you might want to get a uh, personal reading, you know, and get some clarification that you might want to be single if you might be dealing with that situation. That Nine of Pentacles is the single card. You will be, um, I feel like the person that you're dealing with is a... Uh, some kind of high position okay because they're showing up as the emperor so yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get the money that yeah for putting you in this third party situation third fourth fifth party it looks like it was a few of them to me okay now the king of swords and the king of wands could also be like an attorney or something like that the knight of swords but i don't see any eight of swords so i don't feel like yeah justice is coming for you definitely um, I don't see any jail energy, so I don't feel like it's uh, like that. I just feel like it's, you know, yeah, the tower. You might, you might get your proof this weekend if that's what you've been looking for is proof. One thing you can do is, um, yeah, you're going to catch him or her. Capricorn energy. Okay, now one way you can do that, and you're going to heal from this situation with the star card, Aquarius energy. But one way you can do that is by just asking your ancestors to, you know, this person. I keep seeing this Nine of Pentacles card. I think this is Virgo energy. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely you. This is showing up as you after the storm, after the, uh, the tower moment. You're going to be just fine. Uh, 97 or 79 could be significant, don't have to be. But the seven of wands, you've had to fight for your position in this, this situation. Right. It might be a, um, it might be from a reading. I'm saying, because like, this is the high priestess here. looks like a tarot. This is a tarot reader here. Okay, and this, you might get some advice from somebody that is a tarot reader or something like that, but it's going to be that advice that's going to set you free. The full Aquarius energy is going to set you free onto, uh, and the high priestess is also you, um, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer energy. So this could be just signifying you on the full moon. You on the full moon getting the proof you need to set yourself free. Wow, this turned out very interesting, Virgo. I'm sorry you're going through this. Nine of Cups, you are going to be happy. You're going to be happy once you clear all this shit out. I just saw 13, 13 on the clock. I don't know if that's significant to anybody, but damn. Yeah, it's like this person, uh, King of Swords, this person... I'm, this um, is kind of narcissistic, all right, to be honest, to to keep on putting you through this situation uh, and not just set you free, probably because of the money. Okay, uh, temperance. Temperance is all about, wait a minute. Oh, wow. This right here looks like Archangel Michael energy to me, okay? So I was going narcissist with it, but no. Nah. The King of Swords with the Temperance card, with the Judgment card here, this is your angels and your ancestors, okay? So ask them, you know, or say a prayer about it. Whatever you believe in, ask your higher power to help you with this situation. And say, like, if you believe in, you know, your angels or whatever, say, can you... Can you help me? This person is not, this is not no dumb person you're dealing with. This is an emperor. This is somebody who might be embodying all these, uh, the energy of all these kings, okay? And he's in, he's in a lower vibration because he's not caring how this affects you. It's not the fact that he's dealing with another man, if that's the case, or another woman. It's the fact that he's, he don't want to let you go because then he's going to have to let go of some money. That's the problem I got with it. <sighs> Okay, so ask your angels and your ancestors to um, make this person tell on themselves. Ask your angels and your ancestors to help you with this situation and just basically say, 
you know, this person, you already know what this person has got me in, but I don't have proof. I feel like this is going on, but I don't have proof. Can you help me by making this person tell on themselves or making this person slip up somehow? You know, help them, help me by making this person's plan slip up so that I can be free of this situation. At the same time, as for protection, like I always ask for, um, for my angels and ancestors to surround me, my home and my family with bubbles of protection and love. Okay. And that might be something you might want to try. If not, you know, do whatever you, you like to do, but that's what I do. Okay. <laughs> And you are the queen of wands, okay? They're going to hear you roar because you're embodying this Leo energy right now. So you might be Virgo, but you're coming up as this queen of wands. Beautiful, spiritual, strong, and whoever this is is going to hear you roar. I hope that helps. Please come back. Make sure you um, subscribe, hit the like, and all that. I appreciate you guys. And I don't know who's coming up next. Well, I didn't see anybody do a request yet, so... I'll pull one out of my bag. And if you guys did put it in the comments and I didn't see it on Instagram or... Okay, Capricorn's next. So, if you guys want a, a request, put it in the comments below and I'll do the next request after Capricorn. Thank you.